This is the Philippine Forest, a valuable natural resource that is home to indigenous peoples, an escape for recreation and adventure, habitat for a wide variety of plants and animals, source of livelihood for local communities, and provider of various forest products essential for everyday living. The importance of forest is undeniable. The country is blessed with diverse forest products with ecological and economic value. It is vital to look into forest products, their uses, potential and sustainability as they are essential for local and national development. Located at the foothills of Mount Makili, Los Baños Laguna, is the Forest Products Research and Development Institute or FPRDI, an agency under the Department of Science and Technology or DOST. For more than 60 years now, FPRDI has been committed to finding and improving the uses of wood and non-wood products harvested from the Philippine forest and plantations. During the golden era of Philippine forestry in the 1960s through the mid-1970s, FPRDI's remarkable support to the large wood-based industries made it one of Asia's leading forestry research organizations. These industries included the country's top exporting sectors, then lugs, lumber, pulp and paper, and veneer and plywood. In fact, FBRDI was the first agency to establish a pulp and paper research and training center in Southeast Asia. But the rapid destruction of the country's natural forest from the mid-1970s through the 1990s prompted FPRDI to refocus its research thrusts on industrial tree plantation species and non-wood forest products to expand the Philippines' raw materials for the forest-based industries. The main users of these resources, the furniture, handicraft, and builders' woodwork makers, remain among our country's major export earners. The new raw materials come from lesser-used tree species such as river red gum, industrial tree plantation species, examples of which are gemelina and mahogany, non-wood resources like bamboo, rattan, vines and bast fibers, plus a wide range of native plants and agricultural wastes, which are valued sources of fiber, resins, essential oils and incense, fuel, flavorings, shelter, furnishings, ornaments, and natural chemical products such as dyes, adhesives, finishes, and preservatives. Helping the forest-based industries means continuously finding ways to maximize the use of these substitute raw materials and processing them into high-value added products. Today, FBRDI is an ISO accredited organization committed to its mandates of conducting research and development on wood and non-wood forest products, transferring technologies and providing technical services and training on the processing and utilization of forest-based raw materials. To attain its vision of being a center of excellence in its field, FBRDI has put in place two technical divisions, the Material Science Division and the Technology Innovation Division. With support from the Technical Services Division, the Planning Staff, and the Finance and Administrative Division. MSD studies the inherent properties of wood and non-wood forest products, their anatomy, and botanical classification, their physical, mechanical, and chemical properties, their durability against wood-destroying pests such as termites and fungi, and their structural properties or how suitable they are as affordable and eco-friendly construction materials. On the other hand, DID aims to find ways to improve the inherent properties of wood and non-wood materials and convert them into higher value products using mechanical, thermal, and chemical processing. Mechanical processing includes saw milling, drying, and machining. 
Chemical processing covers preservation and application of dyes and finishes. FPRDI also studies how to improve composites or panel products and how to generate solid, liquid, and gaseous fuels from agroforest wastes. To assist its clients compete better in the local and global markets, FPRDI likewise operates testing laboratories for furniture, pulp and paper, and plywood. The pulp and paper, plywood, and furniture testing labs are accredited under ISO 17025-2005. In addition, the plywood testing lab is an accredited third-party test provider by the Department of Trade and Industries Bureau of Product Standards. The physics and mechanics, chemistry, and structural testing labs will also pursue accreditation by ISO. These testing services aim to assure FPRDI clients that their products meet international standards. To make sure that fruits of its labor reach the forest-based communities and industries, FPRDI relies on its extension arm, the Technical Services Division. TSD assesses the impact of FPRDI installed technologies on the adapters and other beneficiaries, facilitates, monitors, and evaluates the technical and financial assistance packages given to clients, including manpower training, establishes the financial and market viability of FPRDI technologies, helps researchers protect their intellectual properties, and packages FPRDI information for varied client groups. Indeed, since its founding in 1957, FPRDI has helped write one success story after another among many beneficiaries of its technical assistance. One of the latest adopters of FPRDI's 10,000 board feet capacity furnace type lumber dryer or FTLD is Mr. Cirilo Sumampong. Mr. Sumampong used to be a small lumber retailer in the town of Dawis in Bohol, but with the help of the dryer, became the province's biggest supplier of custom-built furniture. His company, Bohol Furniture and Lumber Supply, started out as a producer of nothing but door jabs and air-dried lumber. But with the help of FTLD, the company now makes trusses, floor planks, doors, door jams, and all kinds of furniture from beds, chairs, and dining sets that are in demand in hotels and beach resorts all over Bohol. From 7,000 board feet of lumber per year, the company now uses up to 100,000 board feet of jimelina and mahogany wood annually and is more confident in providing quality materials to buyers. It now earns a gross income of 1.16 million pesos a month and enjoys brisk business all year round. Another adapter of the FTLD is the General Santos South Cotabato-based King Jude Metal Caskets and Accessories, one of Mindanao's biggest casket maker. In 2017, the company requested for the immediate construction of a 3,000 board feet capacity dryer to meet the quality and volume demands of its clients. That is all St. Peter Funeral Parlors in Mindanao. With FPRDI's FTLD, small and medium scale enterprises like King Jude Metal Caskets are guaranteed to deliver quality finished products that are acceptable to both local and foreign markets. The wooden pallet industry can benefit from the Institute's Furnace Type Heat Treatment Facility or FHTF. This can provide the heat needed to kill insects and other pests infesting wood packaging materials or WPMs such as wooden pallets. WPMs made of unprocessed wood are vulnerable to pest attacks and can introduce and spread pests from one country to another. Compared with methyl bromide or MB fumigation, heat treatment using FHTF is an ecologically safe way of obtaining the International Plant Protection Convention marks for WPMs. Heat treatment time is 5 hours, which will only cost 8 pesos and 35 centavos per pallet using a 10,000 board foot capacity FHTF or 46% cheaper than MB fumigation. 
12 ballot makers in the southern Tagalog region now use the technology and are providing heat treatment services to other ballot producers and the many exporting companies based in the area. Among the successful adopters are Nippon Express and AdTech Philippines Incorporated. Another is Ace Plus FA Enterprises in Cabuyo, Laguna, which has saved around 80,000 pesos a month after it stopped renting the HD services of another firm and started using its own. It is now an accredited HD provider. Meanwhile, the Ilocos Norte Electric Cooperative, or ENEP, relies on FBRDI's High Pressure Sap Displacement, or HBSD method, to treat their poles on site. HBSD has shortened the waiting period for the poles, thus facilitating connection to the power grid in the province. With the available electricity, all barangays in Ilocos Norte now enjoy economic development and improved quality of life. The HBSD has also generated for ENEC at least 22 million pesos in savings for pole treatment. The global company, Connor Group, that manages the product sourcing needs of over 60 firms, credits the Institute for its role in raising the quality of Philippine handicraft exports. According to Connor's Philippine representative, Ms. Elma Lopez, DOSD FBRDI is an export enabler because it was the Institute's technical help that allowed all of their handicraft suppliers to improve the quality of their export products. In 2012, they paid as much as 142,263 US dollars in fines due to fungal attack. After DOSD FBRDI's help, the figure dropped to 21,540 US dollars in 2016. FBRDI's Wood Identification Service has been helping the construction and plywood companies in ensuring the identity of their raw wood materials. Assisting the Department of Environment and Natural Resources and National Bureau of Investigation in its anti-illegal campaign by conducting on-site identification of confiscated lumbers, helping both local and foreign archaeologists in establishing the identity of wood specimens and providing information that help in restoring historical and heritage sites such as the Aguinaldo Shrine and churches damaged by the 7.2 magnitude earthquake in Bohol and Cebu. This is made possible through the internationally recognized Herbarium and Silarium facility which houses 16,348 specimens of Philippine and foreign wood samples and 2,631 preserved plant specimens. In the next five years, FBRDI will focus on the following goals. To optimize the use of abaca fiber for paper and other high-end products. To develop products and processing technologies to maximize the use of every part of the bamboo. To come up with novel and innovative products from nanocellulose. To develop and transfer technologies on producing military grades propellants and bulletproof vests from local sources to develop more efficient and innovative kiln dryers, to make use of non-wood and lignocellulosic materials from natural forests, plantations, and agroforests, as well as agro-industrial wastes, to process natural rubber exudates and old rubber trees into high-value products, to develop protocols and technologies for the sustainable harvesting, extraction, processing, and utilization of gums, resins, oils and other extractives to study the properties volume supply and market of forest vines and develop appropriate technologies for sustainable production and use to develop process and equipment for biofuel production to establish a national and regional forest products innovation centers and to help reduce poverty among the forest-based communities and industry workers as FBRDI moves beyond its 60th year, the hurdles confronting the Institute and its clients are many and daunting. The local forest industries are bogged down by fluctuating global economies, in addition to their usual concerns, limited supply of raw materials, and tough competition from neighboring Asian countries. The men and women of FBRDI, however, 
choose to see these problems as opportunities for growth. All the setbacks notwithstanding, the Philippines remains one of the most biodiverse countries in the world in terms of non-wood forest products. Filipino craftsmen continue to shine worldwide for their creativity, innovativeness, and skilled workmanship. These plus other indicators tells us that the forest-based industries remain viable and still have a lot of room to grow. And for as long as they need us, we at FBRDI with the help of our friends are committed to bringing viable solutions to our clients in the forest-based industries, communities, and the public. <laughs>